Hey, I thought I'd uh, record outside today for a nice change because the weather's getting a bit warmer. Um, a few things today. Uh, firstly, on how I'm going to do these vlogs, because before I've been using my smartphone to record, then upload the videos, um, and then write a blog post about them. Um, but the thing is, that takes like like 30% battery each time. That's like a ridiculous amount. Um, so I had the idea of using this compact camera to film, like I'm doing right now, uh, and then take out the micro SD card, pop it into the phone, and then just upload it. Um, well, and then write the blog post, but it should save a significant amount of power because the um, the app on this is weird, because when you try and record a video, it turns the screen brightness up to full, um, and then like to get all the perfect resolution stuff, I'm sure it's doing like loads of background processes as well, um, with other apps and stuff. Um, so I think this would save a lot of power. Um, yeah, both overall and save the battery on the phone as well. Um, so that's how I'm going to do the vlogs from now on, I think. Um, second thing is the bike, and I've been... We've been at Hack Lab and we have finally got the circuit working properly. I thought I'd actually give you a proper demonstration because until now I've had to hold I've had to hold the phone so I haven't had my hands free. Uh, so I can finally show you how this is working properly. And um, let's see. So if you can see this, this is the dynamo. Um, and as I turn the wheel, it rubs against the tire and it spins round and round. So if I pedal, you should be able to hear the dynamo. And as it goes faster and faster, it makes a louder noise as it's generating electricity. Okay. Then all the power from all these dynamos goes all the way through these cables to here. And Right, now I'm going to show you what we've been working on. So, the cable goes into here. There you go. Right. And each dynamo goes across a different set of uh, capacitors and full projector tires. What we've been working on is this MOSFET. I got it right this time, Zeke. Sorry about that noise. We've been working on this MOSFET because um, before we we were looking in the drawer for MOSFETs, <laughs> MOSFETs. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to get that word right, but um, we only found this one MOSFET, and it was a 600 volt MOSFET, and that's meant to be used in like mains power uh, stuff not for like little projects like this because the most this can generate is about 32 volts when we tested it so uh, it, it wasn't going to work it just wasn't and after that we tried different things we spent hours trying to design a circuit with a relay which is a kind of mechanical switch um, but the problem is with a, relay, with a relay you then need other components like resistors and diodes and each of them have different requirements so um, the resistors can't have more than a certain power, otherwise they'll blow, they'll like explode. Not, not really, but you see what I mean? Um, and the relay itself needs a minimum current, so it needs the current to be above a certain level before it will be triggered. Um, and all these different um, requirements were contradicting each other, so there wasn't like a current or a, a power that we could have across all the components for it to work. Um, and that, it just got into a bit of a mess with all the calculations and stuff, it wasn't going to work. And then someone looks into a different drawer and found this in the wrong drawer. It's a 60 volt MOSFET. And it looks like it's working. So when we tested the current, it looks like the battery is charging with one amp of current. And that's amazing because before we were only getting like half an amp max. So we've basically doubled our current and we've, because um, the constant current mode wasn't triggering on this board. Um, so it was only charging about half of what it needed to. And now it's charging fine. Um, that's the point. And um, so now I feel like I've got a much better chance of doing this challenge and successfully playing it off, so I'm quite happy. Um, I'm just hoping that the battery on this camera doesn't work, run out. That's my only uh, worry. Um, so it looks like this is working. This is great. Um, 
finally fit that together. I'll do that another time. The final thing I wanted to talk about was like just how difficult this has been because um, you're so used to like I'm so used to like going into a room and turning on the light that I still do it like accidentally and I'm like oh no and I turn it off again or um, turning on the hot tap or opening the fridge just like completely by accident because it's such a deeply ingrained habit and I think it's deeply ingrained in all of us because we've grown up and this is like the normal thing to do but um, it's weird I'm not sure that it's okay to be so dependent on something that is isn't really necessary to be honest because people used to live fine without electricity people used to get on fine um, and now we are completely dependent on it and someone said to me something that I remembered they were from the Department of Sustainability um, at the university I go to and they said if the electricity was suddenly switched off if we suddenly didn't have it then people would starve because we're just so reliant on it and I'm not sure that's a good thing I think we should be able to live without something that isn't necessary um, but yeah um, it's just so deeply ingrained as part of our culture now and we just rely on it um, and the most <laughs> the most annoying thing about this challenge the, the single most annoying thing about this challenge is automatic doors and you see me waiting outside automatic doors for about five minutes each time before somebody else happens to walk through them and it happens to trigger them <laughs> and then I can go through them without generating without using any more electricity um, but it's just stupid how much we but that's my I don't think that's even necessary because I mean I get that automatic doors improve accessibility for people who find it for, for whatever reason find it difficult to open doors but for the majority of us it's completely unnecessary and I've heard from people who aren't from this country who from like uh, from mainland Europe who have said that they just don't have like automatic doors and um, it just it just all depends on like the culture that you're brought up in really and like escalators what are the point of escalators? <laughs> I mean, they are constantly using electricity, and it's so—it's just so unnecessary. Um, and I think that we are just wasting electricity all the time. And that's something that we all need to think about because we're the ones using it, and only we can stop using it. Um, so yeah, I've got to go to table tennis now, um, that's all I wanted to say for today, so I'll uh, catch you next time.